Hello, Erebrisians, and now we're back for the fourth video of Tabs this week. So yeah, sorry, this is kind of the week of Tabs type thing. I'm filming this on the same day as the last one, mainly because I just want some pre-uploadable content. Yeah, I'm probably going to be uploading this, like, by the time you see this, it will probably... The other video will probably have been up for, like, at least a good while. But right now, I'm doing, like, a Sam... It's Japan versus, like, a future army. Like... Okay, so imagine this. An army rises up with far more advanced technology, tries to take over, while... This is Japan's response to that when they try to invade them. Alright. Without further ado, let's do this. This is gonna be very laggy. A few red guys going down, but a lot of blues. I'm seeing a lot of blue here. But also a lot of red as well. So it's not all terrible. Hold on, I'm trying to see where those heavy cans are. They're up here, right? Wait, why are the heavy cans no longer there? Did it, like, delete my cannons? Or did they go off the map because the AI is completely stupid? Oh my gosh! This guy's, like, trying to get, like, the final takedown. Okay, so of course the Reds won that battle. But now let's try thing the Herd a bit, so to speak. And, because, I mean, they took losses, so now they gotta get through the second wave. So yeah, they took a they took heavy losses for what it was. Now they gotta get through the second wave, which is gonna consist of well more. For one thing, now they're gonna have watches. Oh, but what's this? The futuristic faction is, well, called in something unprecedented in warfare. A projection. A projectile blocker. In fact, they called in three of them, because that's just how it rolls. Okay, let's begin. Oh no, it looks like they may actually, Japan may actually lose this, just out of like, what? You guys rolled yourselves off? You idiots! You guys are absolute dummy, and now you're running towards your own cannons. You fools! Oh jeez. It's gonna be a close game, certainly, because these things are trying their hardest. Hardest to take them down, but they just aren't going... Oh no, no, this ain't good. Japan's forces are, like, vastly weakening. Oh! 
Oh, did you see that swipe, though? That utter flick of the wrist. Oh my gosh, Japan won by a man. The man, the myth, the legend himself. But now, the Neon Faction has called in a lot more. Stay tuned for that. Although you'll see it, so I don't know why I'm telling you to stay tuned. For one thing, is brought in some artillery. Because they realize they won't be able to get through that second wave without a lot of artillery. And some more projector shields. Or projectile shields. And some more energy sword maskers, because that's what they've needed for a very long time. Okay. But, isn't all hope is not lost yet. For now, they have the leaders on their side. Or at least of the samurai, because I feel like Those other guys just aren't going to survive. And they've also got some help from the spear. That's why I should have made Undyne a spear thrower. She would have been much more effective as a spear thrower. If you guys don't know, my last video is Undertale themed, so yeah. Okay. Yeah, they received some spear throwers. And also a few giant axe people. Uh, wait, I said to put the axe people, not... Yeah, they also received a few axe people. So yeah, this battle is going to be massive. Who will win? Take your guess below. I, I don't even know if this will even start. Oh my gosh, they're destroying themselves! Well, that might have actually been pretty effective. I mean, they took out, like, a whole bunch of their army, but... I don't think the Neon Faction's gonna win this. I don't know. It doesn't seem like they're doing too well. And they're doing pretty horribly. Mainly because of those box cans. Maybe I should remove those. It's become one of those stalemate battles where it's like, oh, oh, jeez, dude, guy just got owned. Oh no, no, 
You might want to be. You might want to avoid those, my friend. You guys are gonna die. Taekwondo guys are just running around like idiots. I mean, are these the only guys left? Like, the samurai are all dead. That's the problem. They don't have any samurai left. It's still a blue victory. They decided the box guns weren't effective. Enough, so now they're just going in with this. This massive, massive army. Can they pull off a victory? Or will this end in their demise? Because this is the last remaining force for the Neon guys. I don't normally do four battles in one episode. Normally I only do three because that's all I have time for, but, you know. I mean, don't expect this to become a thing. Most of the time, it's just going to be three ultimate battles that the community suggests. So, yeah, make sure to comment your suggestions, because I won't know them um, unless you put them. And if there is something you really want to see and you don't comment it, I'm just going to guess and give you whatever thing I think of. I mean... You know, from the fact that it got, like, ten views in a day, I'm guessing you guys like this and want me to continue this series. Uh, the Neon Faction. It's in shambles. Well, the Japanese Empire is, like, right high because there's no more box cannons. But I think all their artillery's gone. And also most of their men, but their but their but the future army, that's in shambles. Like they're in like full retreat kind of shape for a military force. I mean on military perspective, they're in the kind of shape where you'd be like, it's probably better we get out of this before it, you know, turns ugly. He still survives this? In fact, there are a few guys that are still alive. Sorry, and sorry if the camera is like... I have to hold this thing up with my hand. It's really difficult. I don't know if this battle's gonna end. Oh no, please say the... Please say the... The Japanese win? This can't be. They were doing so well. I see one of those bear guys in the background, and I'm just like, what are you doing, sir? Well, they're like, oh, yeah, he got him. Got him. Got him. Are they trying to move the artillery? So that they can get past. Or are they using it as like human shield type stuff? Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to end this video soon. I'm just gonna call it a Japan victory. Sorry, I, I can't go on for very much longer. But please like and subscribe. Tell all your friends about it. And leave your suggestions, please. This is it. This is Dr. Guinea Pig signing off.